Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library. I'm going to bring you some suggestions of books to read or listen to via a Librarian Recommends session fortnightly on a Thursday. If the library is not open, you can still download ebooks and audiobooks using our free RB Digital app. If you need help using the app, please take a look at our user guide video, which you can find in the video section on the left of this Facebook page, or go to our YouTube channel using the link above. Today I'm going to share with you some of the LGBTQ gems in our e audiobook and e book collections, as these can sometimes be hard to find. My first recommendation is Mr. Loverman by Bernadine Evaristo. This is available as an e audiobook, narrated with soul and a wonderful range of accents by James Good. It is the story of Barrington Barry Jedediah Walker, a man with panache and style, a property portfolio, a wife of 50 years, two daughters, and a secret. He and his best friend Morris have been lovers since they were boys in Antigua. They both moved to Britain, expecting to be free to be together, away from the small town's small mindedness, but it didn't work out the way they planned. Now, 60 years later, Barry is finally ready to move in with Morris. He just has to tell his wife first. Mr Loverman has humour, lyricism and pathos. Evaristo's art is to open up these lives with all their triumphs and disappointments with a light touch while still asking the big questions. It is no wonder that she won the man booker for this book. Next up is Frankenstein by Jeanette Wint Winterson, a novel about big ideas. It is available in both e-audiobook and e-book formats. Frankenstein uses Mary Shelley's Frankenstein as a jumping off point to explore our relationship to our bodies, gender, artificial intelligence and the nature of life itself. The story is told through the modern day characters of Rye, a very relatable doctor who is transgender, their lover Victor who is pushing the boundaries of cutting edge science in troubling ways and Ron, the down to earth owner of a sex doll business. The book is interspersed with flashbacks to Mary Shelley herself and the extraordinary circumstances in which she wrote the original novel. Frankenstein is touching, sometimes funny, always hugely thought-provoking and above all a story of people trying to navigate their way through life and love. A more intimate exploration of gender can be found in Virginia Woolf's Orlando, a biography. This is available both as an e-book and an e-audiobook, read with aplomb by Bar Barbara Rosenblatt. Written as a homage to Vita Sackville West, Wolf's lover and friend, Orlando is both playful and clever, witty and serious, as Wolf uses her eponymous hero to explore the freedoms of men and the restrictions of women through 300 years, where their only difference is gender, whilst the world transforms around them. Virginia Woolf's writing always feels as fresh as the day it was written, and as one of her lightest works, Orlando is a brilliant introduction to one of the 20th century's greatest writers. Also fresh and humorous and rich in language is Alan Hollinghurst's The Swimming Pool Library, which is available as an e-book. This is the story of gay men on the cusp of history, a rich, promiscuous, hedonist young man of the early 80s before the AIDS epidemic and Section 28, and a rich, entitled, old-school aristocrat whose life was shaped by the criminalisation of homosexuality only 15 years before his birth. A complex story of class, race, oppression and privilege is interwoven into a vivid depiction of a carefree, sexful, gay lifestyle. The Swimming Pool Library is honest, sexy, funny, intense and poignant. It was Hollinghurst's first novel, but it stands the test of time and shows the skill of an already accomplished writer. Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asiman is another accomplished debut novel. 
It is available as an e-book and you have probably already seen the film. Set in the mid-80s, in the heat of an Italian summer, Call Me By Your Name is a simmering romance story of obsession, passion, longing and identity. With the intensity of a thriller, Asimon draws the reader into the will-they-won't-they they web of longing and desire between the 17-year-old Elio and his father's 24-year-old intern, Oliver, and then sends them on a journey through time to explore the effects on both men many years later. If you just see the film, you will miss the elegance and poetry of Asimon's writing and the way he so perfectly captures the indelible agony of youthful desire. My final recommendation today is How to Be Both by Ali Smith, appropriately available in both ebook and e audiobook formats. Smith is at her most creative, witty, and playful in this story of two intertwining lives George, a modern day teenager struggling to come to terms with the death of her mother, and Francesco del Cossa, a Renaissance artist who painted frescoes in the Palazzo in Ferrara, Italy. In the printed format, Smith was able to add an extra dimension to exploring the duality of these two characters by having half the copies produced with George's story first and half of them with Francesco's story first. The effect is, as if to say, why should there be only one entry point into a story? Why should we only travel from A to B? This has been recreated in the e-book version by giving the option of reading either Chimera, George, or Eyes, Francesca, first, although there can only be one entry point in the audiobook, which starts with George. How to Be Both uses the versatility of art to explore truth and fiction, gender and genderless, love and loss, in Ali Smith's boisterous poetic prose. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next read. It may well be a subject you haven't read or listened to before, but I think they are well worth dipping into, as there is a lot to engage you. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search by genre and availability, or browse in the RB Digital app. Do use the comments section below to add your own suggestions of LGBTQT books you think our customers might enjoy. And if we don't already have them available in our RB Digital collection, we will see if we can add them. Before I go, I would like to thank my colleague Rachel for her invaluable help putting these recommendations together. Stay safe and well, and see you soon. Bye.